This is the video of chemotaxis signaling in bacteria and its impact on flagellar movements. Before we discuss the signaling pathway, there is a video regarding taxis and a basic overview of what taxis is. If you want to watch that video first, there is a link in the i button or you can find it in the description. Now clearing the basics first. We know there are two kinds of substances which will impact the movement of bacteria. One is the chemoattractant, other being the chemorepellent. Chemoattractants are the ones which are beneficial for bacteria like nutrients. So bacteria will go towards it. While as when there is any toxic substance at that time, it will act as a repellent for bacteria. Since bacteria will move away from it. So how this is accomplished by bacteria will be discussed now. For this chemotaxis pathway, the receptor which mediates the chemotaxis in bacteria is present on the membrane in the form of MCP methyl accepting chemotaxis protein. It's a receptor protein which is able to detect the repellents and attractants in the environment. Prior to ligand binding, the receptor is in the form of monomers. And when there is any substance, say repellent, near the bacteria, the repellent acts as a ligand for the MCP receptor. As you can see in this diagram, the repellent acts as a ligand for MCP receptor and shows ligand binding activity towards this receptor. The binding of ligand towards receptor is followed by the dimerization of MCP. So now the MCP has got conformational changes in its structure that means it has got activated by ligand. So after dimerization of MCP, the MCP recruits two more proteins. One is called GW or you can say CW protein. Another one is GA protein or you can say CA protein. The CW protein only acts as a transducer protein for the signal to be transmitted to CA protein. And it's this CA protein which acts as a sensor kinase. The CA shows kinase activity and autophosphorylates itself on hysteriol residues. After the autophosphorylation of GA protein, the GA protein activates the GY protein by transferring the phosphate towards the aspartate residue of GY. And finally, the GY protein phosphorylates the protein complex composed of three proteins, FLIM, FLIG, and FLIN. This protein complex acts as a flagellar motor switch. And when this GY protein activates this switch, it gives signal to basal body of the flagella to switch the rotation for direction change. And in this case, the ligand was repellent. So the rotation of flagella will be switched from counterclockwise to clockwise rotation to get away from the substance that's toxic for a bacteria. Now let's see the movements in bacteria, depending upon the substances which bacteria encounters. First of all, we see bacteria shows forward movements in presence of nutrients. And at that time, the flagellum rotation is counterclockwise. That means the bacteria is going forward. But when there is presence of any toxic chemicals in its vicinity, the counterclockwise movement will be switched to clockwise rotation of the flagellum and the bacteria will go away from that substance. This is all about chemotaxis in bacteria. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.